Sherith from ProjectorSewing.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be going over how to calibrate your projector using Affinity Designer. I will not be going over how to physically tilt and adjust your projector within its mount to line up with your mat. If you need help with that, please make sure to check out the articles below that will go over calibrating your projector. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started in Affinity Designer. All right, go ahead and open up your file in Affinity Designer. We're gonna go ahead and do document settings. Make sure we change our units to inches or centimeters and check that no scale is checked. We don't want that checked. Looks good, let's go ahead and click OK. And I have the calibration document pulled up. This is the inches document. And make sure your projector is turned on as well. Let's go ahead to the zoom icon and click that up at the top is where you get to type in your zoom. I'm just going to start at 35% around 30s is a good place to start to move around your document. You're going to want, I use the mouse wheel and you press the mouse wheel and you can pan on the document. It's a really quick and easy way using the mouse wheel. Center your calibration document on your mat. Make sure the horizontal and the vertical axes are aligned. And let's go ahead and start zooming in a little bit more so we can get it as accurate as we want. Okay. And I'm going to type it in a little bit more. I typed it larger. We're going to center the image on our mat again. And if you look, those boxes are too big, so I need to go down. So I'm going to go down to 30%. It's kind of a, a give and take a little bit until we get really close. Center your mat again. And you can see that those boxes are just too small. So I need to increase my zoom percentage. I'm going to increase it to about 32 because I was up at 34 before. And 32 is looking uh, pretty close on here. I know I'm close, um, but I think I need to go down just a little bit. I'm going to type in 31% and see how that looks. And try it out. You can always go back and forth um, if you're not sure. This is looking really close. Um, I think I can adjust it just by like a tenth of a percentage to make it even closer. So I went ahead and typed in a little bit of a tenth percentage and it's slightly too big. So I need to go down a little bit. Let's go ahead and type in 31.2%. See how that looks. And you want to center those lines. If you're worried about how thick they are, you're looking to center the, the largest square and it's looking right on. So I think that's my calibration percent, 31.2. I'm just checking that. You're going to want to write this down so you don't forget it. I do have a free download that you can use to write down your percentage. I, I saved one for Adobe. I saved one for Affinity Designer. They are slightly different in each program you use. You do need to calibrate in every program that you use. And make sure you download that paper so you can have that saved and keep it right by your sewing area. Now let's go ahead and clear some of these screens and make it full screen mode. Shift H gets rid of the right studio and then you can use the view toolbar to get rid of the tools. And then also the um, top context toolbar, you can push Control Alt T and that will get rid of it. Or you can go to the view menu and uh, click it away as well. Show context toolbar just right there. Okay. And that way you can have full screen. I leave the tools on there. You can get rid of the tools. Um, you can get rid of show tools or dock tools. You can get rid of them completely if you don't need them. But if you are editing them, you might need them. Okay, it's looking really great. I, you can see I've got the full screen possible. It's still calibrated correctly. Let's go ahead and talk about how to save your calibration during uh, projecting. We're going to use the navigation panel. I'm going to bring it up here to the center just so you can see a little bit bigger. That gray box there in the center, you can move that around your image. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type in my zoom percent and save that viewpoint. When you save that viewpoint, you can also rename it. I rename it to my calibration zoom. 
And what this does is if you are moving around your document, you're zooming in, you can click back on your calibration zoom that you saved and it will go right back to where you were which is really useful if you're accidentally clicking around or you're moving around you want to make sure you get back to your calibration zoom. You can zoom all the way out and in one click you get right back to where you were on there. It doesn't save it every time you open up a new file. You do have to type this in each time, um, but it is a quick way to get back to your zoom percentage um, if you're jumping around on there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clear it to full screen again, get rid of those tools so you can see how it looks when those tools are gone. I would say with Adobe, you probably get a little bit larger projection, but using Affinity Designer is really great when you are digitizing patterns or making pattern alterations. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to subscribe.